Hi, my name's Keith and I'm known as the Florida Stone Man. And today I'm going to make another video talking to you about how to hear your angels or how to talk to your angels. How to open gifts of mediumship regarding angels. And this is not what you think it is. I don't even call it mediumship, I call it largeship. <laughs> uh, it's not, it's, there's nothing medium about this. What we're doing here is pretty large. So uh, it's the war against light and against dark. So. And I've helped a lot of people open their gifts in the past month specifically, especially people who have gotten Atacomite from me. Uh, wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, that, I'm just, that's, I'm just gonna leave that by itself. If you're one of those people, you can comment in the comment section. If you don't want to comment, that's okay. You can stay anonymous. But in this video, I'm gonna make it very easy for you, for you to talk about uh, how to talk to guardian angels, how to talk to regular angels, <laughs> what you guys can expect sometimes uh number one the more i'm gonna talk about this right now i haven't talked about this in any other video when you talk to angels sometimes uh and you talk to them very often or sometimes you're used to hearing them or used to communicating with them sometimes when you go to talk something else will come out of your mouth that's sometimes not fully you it's embarrassing it's what's what they call speaking in tongues you don't do that on purpose it's not something that uh a lot not a lot of people share it when they do it so if i combine words sometimes just know that it's not intentional the angelic language combines multiple words that's all i will say so a lot of people will pretend if pretend and sometimes i'll just uh tongue twist sometimes i'll just tongue tie but sometimes i'll say something that's just like just, i act like i didn't say it but when you are speaking with angels and sometimes when they'll help you speak for example some of my videos are with the help of my beautiful angels if you guys can't tell that's why certain videos will just be uh really scare some people and people will leave negative comments it's because their demons were helping them comment too but back into the topic of how to communicate with angels let them talk that's the biggest thing in this video and that's not the only biggest thing in this video because i'll teach about other ways and how you guys can hear angels but one thing that was the biggest challenge for me in me opening my gifts and being able to hear my angels outside my ears, inside my ears, to see them outside my eyes, to see them inside my third eye, is that sometimes we just have to pause. Like, we need to, uh, like, we just need to go silent sometimes. The problem is we just can't silence our internal monologue. And even when we silence our internal monologue, we have back thoughts. So what I, remember when I talk about doing shadow work? To achieve your gifts being open sometimes we just have so much there we need to let it out so it's kind of like a trash bag that you turn upside down and you're shaking it and you're shaking it or it's like a toothpaste tube and you're squeezing the toothpaste and it's going out of the tube and until you wait till there's nothing left until you get a new toothpaste tube kind of the same thing so when you go into i mean the biggest thing is asking god you can't talk to angels without talking to god it just doesn't work like that i'm there's no fluff to it. I mean, these are they're beings of light. They're beings that are helpers to humanity. You can talk to angels without the help of God, although you they won't be talking to you. They'll just stay quiet and they'll look at you. They'll literally do this. And yes, there's there are flies because it rained in Florida. And when it rains in Florida, there's a bunch of little flying ants. Uh, they're not fly flies. They're ant flies, <laughs> which are technically flies, but... If you see me do this or you see one fly through they're everywhere so that's just how florida is in the summertime but uh when i'm talking about how to talk to your angels a lot of people will do more talking than they will listen and yeah i'll say this in multiple video topics but you have to understand your angels are very chatty they're very chatty they talk with each other and how is it possible that they are? Uh, for some people who try to go around angels I mean, go around God without talking to angels, they'll talk to each other, but they won't talk to you and they'll make sure you don't hear them. So they're very chatty and they love talking with you. Who has the most angels, number one? People of God. Because he'll send them because he loves you so much. God loves you so much, he'll continue to send angels. Um, that's, that's about that. For Let me talk about this very briefly. For people who are trying to go around God to talk to angels, it doesn't work like that. You'll talk to fallen angels. You'll talk to things that are not beings of God. And yes, I'm, in, I'm sitting in my car. Uh, that wasn't me, though. So when you talk to angels, when you get in the habit of praying, your angels literally pray with you. So certain things, you ever ask, 
yourself and let's just say you didn't know how to pray for something you didn't know how to ask for something uh and you're getting things you didn't ask for but you kind of thought about it but you never actually prayed for it. it's because your angels help you pray so you're praying with your angels to god when you pray a lot of people don't know that how cool is that so when you're talking to god your angels are literally helping you talk to god sometimes we don't know how to word things sometimes we uh even when we're grateful for something the words don't always come out of our mouths correctly so it helps us communicate with god to be able to talk to our angels because they're they're helpers of humanity they will help clear the atmosphere clear the room sometimes if you're oh this is really important you ever have that voice in your head or you'll just feel an, an, an incredible feeling of when you're praying and talking to god and you're just like focus it's your angels not telling you like that it's just like they're like okay let's let's focus let's focus let's get like because they'll tell you let's focus let's just say your mind's wandering when you're praying your angels are helping you pray and talking to god that's why you get so much incredible focus it's because they're literally helping you focus god is armoring your angels to help you help uh help you help yourself by talking to god now it's really cool because most people don't do that and a little thing about, you have to know about angels they're very patient the biggest thing in asking God to open your gifts, as soon as you ask, he does it. So your gifts are, um, they're open. Uh, they're open as soon as you ask. So whenever you ask God for something, it's already yours. So they're open. Your gifts are open. What kind of gifts? Let's go by the general gifts. So clairaudience, clairvoyance, clairsentience, claircognizance. Assume your gifts are already open because they are if you're a person of god and you're using crystals that which they put your chakra, they put your chakra on a super spin it makes it that much easier so let's talk about interpers i mean wait, let's just talk about going back and forth with the angels and talking you'll kind of feel it when your angels are talking sometimes you'll feel it when they stop talking sometimes when they stop talking it'll feel like i don't want to say that the air the air will feel dumb It'll feel like uh, an absence of an intellectual energy. What do I mean by that? They're, angels are so incredibly intelligent. When they talk, it's like the air is intelligent. You just feel some kind of like smart atmosphere. When they stop talking is usually when we're, our own internal monologue starts popping up. And that's, that's immediately how you can tell when certain people have angels around them, how certain people don't have angels around them. If you ever pay attention to really, really bad people who are super mean, they're not smart. They're just not smart. They don't... It, they'll do things and they'll just not get away with it, etc. Because there's... I mean, sometimes bad people... And it's not, it doesn't count for everyone because everyone's completely different. But some people who are really bad will be extremely intelligent because they have demons around them. Some people who demons don't even care to help... Like, that person will just be without angels and without... I mean, just minor demons. Just little demons. What about talking to your angel one-on-one? -on -one? Let's just say you, you would like to talk to St. Michael the Archangel. And this is extremely important. By the way, the crystal combination for talking to St. Michael the Archangel is Telesine, Angelite, and Lapis Lazuli. How cool. So you wear it around your throat as a necklace and you'll hear him much better. But people uh, have a very intriguing uh, misconceptions about angels. Like, oh, I'll, I'll ask this angel to help me with this, help me with that, help me with this, help me with that. When you talk to Michael, he's an actual angel of God. He'll be like, okay. He'll literally ask you. When you hear him word for word, he'll be like, did you talk to God first? Are you asking things of me you should be asking of God? Or when you ask certain things of me, uh, are you asking God? Are you trying to go around God asking me? So he'll literally ask you that. Um, he'll literally ask you, like, are you? did you talk to God about this? And he knows if you did or didn't. He's just asking you. He's just talking to you. So St. Michael is a wonderful angel. He's funny he's very serious but the thing is he'll urge you to move closer to god so the thing with saint michael is uh and saint michael will talk when he wants to he won't talk because he, you talk to him he'll talk to you if you're a person of god if you're pure if your energy's right sometimes he just won't talk to, i mean for bad people he'll literally talk to other people i mean because everyone's a different scenario that's the thing i can't generalize this information i can't i can't generalize this information so when talking to St. Michael and you're not a good person or you're rotten, maybe you're trying to work with demons and talk to St. Michael, 
he'll literally be talking to your angels like okay he'll be most importantly uh because angels talk to god if you don't know that they literally pray and talk to god so they'll pray for you and they'll talk to each other but if you're doing the wrong thing and you're not on the right track they'll be talking to each other versus talking to you so in talking one-on-one -on -one, keep the conversation simple uh do you like this do you like this uh a really interesting thing is when people go to talk to angels they try to get uh they, they talk to the angels for the wrong reason versus i love you as a family member it's like give me some dirt give me some dirt like oh what did uh what did isabella do in the workplace at when she when she left the job after tuesday she was supposed to drive home to her husband uh sean and she actually went into it if we're going to uh like she'll if so angels i mean they're not gonna tell you dirt so you can get other people into trouble they'll help you because they're helpers but they're not they're not you're not gonna force readings out of them that's the biggest thing so people will think they're doing readings with angels sometimes you're not i mean when your angel shares information it's stuff that's literally on a spiritual television it's stuff that's documented as a record so sometimes you guys will just be looking at a record versus actually getting information from an angel because some people are like oh angels and readings they don't do it they, they won't do readings like that. they just won't they'll kind of they'll mess with you if anything though they have fun they're very they're very uh some, some angels like baracula are hilarious so if you'll ask them about oh what is uh because some people are very silly some people are just very uh and you could be one of these people but they go what's my crush's zodiac sign and zodiac chart they'll be like uh saturn mercury venus neptune uh, they'll be like scorpio gemini they'll just start saying they'll, they'll have fun uh let's just say and they'll just they'll just have fun so don't try to milk your angels because that i mean that's one thing you'll never have when you're around angels is you you're not gonna extract information from them like that they'll tell you stuff when they're ready to tell you stuff but people will work with angels for the wrong reason. So people will try to get angels to work for them. That doesn't, they work for God. If you're trying to force, I mean, that's one thing too. Respect what your angel has to say. I had a, yeah, I'd actually yell at some people on live about that. Certain people who are worthy of the information, well, worthy, patient for the information, got the information. But some people on my TikTok live, I'm like, okay, my, my angel will give me a secret about crystals to tell you guys. And I'll teach about it. But then my angel says, okay, that's, um, that's all I'm going to teach you. And then I tell people in live, well, that's the only thing I can say about this crystal secret. That this, that's the only thing I can say about this secret that my angel gave me about the crystal. That's it. I mean, it might be just a minor secret. It's like, oh, Apophyllite will open this gift. How cool. Uh, other information. I mean, people will just try to extract, extract stuff about angels. So in essence, God's giving you the information. So ask God ask god for help with your uh with your video <laughs> well ask god for help when it comes to you learning about crystals you learning about stuff so when what am i saying the biggest thing with you talking to your angels don't try to get information out of them they're family members they're friends a large chance is your angel probably doesn't know what you're asking them because they're not readers they can be for certain help like oh should i go to this club or this party they'll be like no so in essence just respect what your angel has to say if they say i don't know i don't know about this sometimes they'll just say i don't know i don't know because they don't know they're literally living this experience with you they're literally living this life with you god will actually keep things a surprise to your angels so they can learn as well because why are your angels here with you because they're learning with you they're uplifting you learning about the world learning about things around you so sometimes they just don't know stuff god is the one who will come in and be like okay this angel is allowed to teach this person that so in essence, don't try to go around God by talking to angels because they'll they know exactly what your your intention is. So the biggest thing with angels is the one thing they'll know is intention. Because energy can't lie. Pay attention to intention. So if your intention is oh, I'm gonna get information out of angels, I'm gonna extract information from angels. No. You know how you should maybe this video I'll make okay, the essence of this video, the most important part of this video, because I said the most important part earlier talk to the angels like they're your friend they are your friend they're your family member they've been around you for past lives they've been around you for a very long time but when it comes to uh, a relationship you're not 
you're not talking to them only when you want to talk to them. You're not talking to them when, uh, I mean, you can talk to them on and off, but don't be, a, don't be a user because that really hurts a relationship. They can feel that and they don't like that. If you talk to them as family, they're going to talk to you as family. If you talk to them as, <laughs> to, now I'm like shuffling cards and stuff like that. I wish I had two hands to like do the shuffling me me mechanisms. Or like, sh -sh 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 -sh. okay, angels, I'm ready. That's just, it's, it's a turnoff. Imagine if, like, uh, talk to me as if you would, like, just pretend I'm an angel. Would you only talk to me when you want me to do something? Like, let's pretend you're an angel now, for you to understand. And I'm the human. So if you're an angel and I'm the human, am I only going to talk to you when I want something? No. The thing is, talk to your angels as if they're family members, as if they're friends. And you'll open your gifts simply because they're in the next they're in the next phases and the next in between. And it helps you be, be in it helps you be in the in-between simply by being able to communicate with them. That's the essence of this video, is they're friends, they're family, and demons will get jealous, so ask God to remove them. Use crystals when you talk to angels. Sometimes your angels will literally wait for you to have a crystal before they start talking to you because they know other things will try to talk to you. So use black tourmaline first and that'll open the connection to your angels because they know you're protected. You can get the best black tourmaline from floridastoneman.com. But it that's why black tourmaline is a gift opening crystal as well. It's because it blocks things from, from getting in. It's a very simple video, but it's very helpful. I'm going to do more talking about how to communicate with angels because they're family. When you go to the next side for the people of light, for the people of God, most importantly for the people of God, when they get to the next side, you're chilling with your angels. Same thing you're doing now. When people who are, uh, oh, this is on the contrary, as above, so below, for all these people who are using demons to do stuff and they're getting ripped apart in their life and they don't even recognize it, these people who are chilling with demons now will ch chill with demons in their afterlife. And where do, ch where do demons chill? Where do angels chill? Out? Obvious, but... If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Ciao!